Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 6, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we are running into quite a lot of trouble here at the middle of the bullish band. We did pierce it, but pull back. And at this point, it looks like we are going to drop back towards these previous lows. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly bullish at this point. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is still in negative territory, but heading towards a bullish territory. RSI is flat, and the stochastic has crossed the MACD has crossed the signal line, but is in bullish uh, bearish territory. So, if we manage to break above the middle of the bullish band, we could head towards the 50 moving average here at 91, 200 moving average at 91.9, and then beyond that. If we break down from here, then we'll most likely head towards the bottom of the bullish band at 90.3D. So, let's look at oil. So oil it did reach all the way up towards uh, 66.69 and then gave most of those gains back. At this point, it looks like we are going to head back towards the middle of the bullish band, which we found major support basically in the past. So we got, we got, we have been rallying for a significantly amount of time and pullbacks at this point should basically be expected. We are in the uptrend, there's no question about that. It's a very nice uh, channel here. And at the moment, we are mostly going to test 60, uh, 67 and then beyond that to 70. And uh, who knows what basically happens at, at that point. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is slightly turned around at this current stage. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has pulled back a little bit today, not significantly. We did drop towards uh, 0.9237, uh, sorry. If you look at technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. It looks like a momentum is basically stalling at this current stage. And we could drop back towards the 20 exponential moving average at 2.8 or the middle at 2.7. You see the technical indicators are all turning around to lower levels. Rallies from here mostly you find resistant at uh, at the three dollars and beyond that to these previous highs at uh, three point zero eight dollars. So if we look at copper, we can see that copper has also run into resistant here at the four point five five six three and is most likely going to turn around from here or we'll just trade sideways until the 20 exponential catches up before continuing higher. So this is a market has been um, basically in a massive uptrend for the last year and um, pullbacks towards the 20 and the 50 moving average have been a major support levels. Technical indicators are slowly turning around. MACD is still bullish, the stochastic is still bullish, but the CCI is turning around significantly, and so is the RSI. So momentum looks like it is stalling and is about to go um, south. So let's look at gold. So gold has uh, been back and forward today. We found support at the 20 exponential and then rallied and uh, we're trading at, give or take, 1785 at this point. We did fall significantly yesterday and now we are recovering. We are trending just above the 20 exponential and that is holding as long as that is the case. We will slowly grind to the upside. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish territory, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So silver also fell towards the 20 exponential, rallied, and at this current stage, we are, well, just staying in the same place as we started off. Slightly lower, but if you look at technical indicators, they are, we can see the MACD is uh, bullish, stochastic is flat, the CCI is becoming bearish, it's still in bullish territory, uh, but the RSI is also flat. If the 20 exponential breaks, we basically have a lot of support underneath. So it looks like 
we are bouncing off the 20 exponential and slowly going higher. So let's look at platinum. So platinum, as you can see, also found support at the 20 exponential and then it fell and then rallied, but we're still a little bit lower than we started off today. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is in bullish territory, but it's turning around significantly, and the RSI is uh, turning around as well. So this has basically been rallying towards the top of the bullish band to the bottom and just zigzagging all around. At the moment, we're just in the middle of nowhere. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium is also running out of steam. We have basically been testing this same price level now for the last four days. And when usually that occurs, it usually turns around and tries to build momentum uh, to go even higher. So pullbacks at this point will most likely find uh, support down at uh, 2.825. Uh, if that breaks, then we could drop all the way down to 50. But... 20 exponential has been holding every time we have basically tested it in the last few months. Technical indicators are very flat, are basically and are turning around at this point, indicating that momentum is basically stalling. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium is um, technically doing nothing. We are a little bit higher than yesterday, but we're still uh, we're very high, very overstretched and. Pullbacks should be expected at any point. I'm looking at something similar to this, something similar to that, because we have been hugging the top of the bullish band for a really long time now, and we're also overbought. Technical indicators are still very bullish, but at this point, pullbacks is what I'm looking for. So let's look at nickel. So nickel continues to go higher. We're trading at 17,820 at this point, and now it looks like we are just going to continue higher and higher. We aren't getting yet. We're getting to the edge of being overbought. Technical indicators are very bullish, and we have clearly broken this basically trending sideways. We did break down, trended sideways for nearly a month, and now we are starting to rally again. Pullbacks will mostly find major support at the 20 exponential, which just has crossed uh, 50 moving average. And that's in another uh, significant indication that we are going to trend upwards from now on. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has also catalyzed to the upside. We found support down here at the 20 exponential, and now we're trading at 0 0.1750. Technical indicators are very bullish indeed. So we're in a little bit ahead of ourselves. This really takes off when it takes off. So, so we could witness a pullback before going higher. It doesn't seem like a V-shaped recovery here should be that realistic. But who knows? This market is very, very, very bullish when it basically takes off. You can just see here, very similar move to the upside. So let's look at cotton. So cotton and steel is holding on at the 20 exponential, but it's probably just a matter of time before we see this market as well rally towards the previous highs up here at 0 0.9142. Technical indicators, they are fairly well, they're mixed at this point. MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is bearish. CCI is still in bullish territory, heading towards negative territory. And the RSI is flat at this current stage. We're finding support at these moving averages here which are basically cramped together. Break below those will open the door to the very lows here. But at this point, it looks like we're going to head back towards the previous highs. So let's look at Kokoa. Yes, we have finally uh, rallied and uh, we had found support down here at uh, 23.16. And at the moment, it, look like, it looks like we're heading towards the 20 exponential. And if that breaks, we could head all the way up towards the previous highs over here. This is a market that is very, very, very volatile and extremely difficult to basically trade. So uh, this is it is really risky. Um, so if you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. And um, after a rally like this, they usually do. So if this uh, momentum continues, then we could head back towards the 200 moving average at 24.81. Or if we drop below this level here, we could drop all the way down to 22.31. So let's look at wheat. 
So it has uh, rallied to the upside, but still we are getting problems every time we run into resistant area. We're actually just trading in the square here. The lows being uh, 715 and the highs being give or take 750 to 745. Technical indicators are all pointing to higher levels, but we are still overbought. We are still far away from the top of the bullish band where we are overbought. So uh, prefer pull back all the way down towards uh, these previous lows at the 20 exponential, which also was the previous highs here. So at this current stage, it is basically in the middle of nowhere. It can go up, it can go down. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.